Yo, what is up? Joshua Casper here with another awesome tutorial. Uh, it's Ableton Live today. We're going to be making an instrument rack using Operator to make a kind of cool effect where it sounds like animals chirping in the woods and stuff. This is the sound. So as you can hear, it's definitely just some sort of an effect sound, um, and we've got we're gonna wrap it all up into this nice little box where we can adjust uh, the pitch, the highlights, the time, uh, transpose it. We've got the grain delay on there, which is super dope, by the way. Uh, first appearance in my tutorials, but uh, definitely you guys should be checking that out if you don't already. Uh, decay time on the reverb and uh, the overall volume of the device. So I'm going to play again and play around with some of these things. Okay, so as you can hear, that's um, a pretty interesting um, variety of sounds that we can get with this little uh, instrument rack. So let's go ahead and get started inside of here. Um, I've just went ahead and deleted the rack, and the first thing we need to do is just bring the operator inside of here. We can turn off these top three oscillators. We're only going to use this last one, and we're going to be using it on the fixed parameter. And what that is, is uh, no matter what, which notes I play now, even though these, uh, this particular MIDI clip has some variety here, it's not going to change the pitch of the actual synth. So you can see as it walked up right here, the notes stayed the same. Um, we're going to take the frequency and we're going to pull it up to about 200. 211, 230, something like that. Uh, multi all the way up, and that's going to give us a really high pitch sound. Wow. Uh, for the envelope, we want um, no attack. We want the decay um, right down here around 95 milliseconds, and the release, we're going to go around 12 milliseconds. Okay? Uh, we also need to turn the loop function on. So, right now, this is what we have. So on this sustained note up here, I just got that little click, but I'm going to do is turn the loop on, and I'm going to turn the time all the way down. So it's just a loop time. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, the next thing we need to do is we're going to use the LFO for sure. And that's what it's doing, but um, we need to uh, take the destination, and we need to turn it off here. And the destination B, we're going to use Panorama. So as you can see, it's starting to pan for us. And we're going to take the rate and turn it all the way up. And the amount, we're going to go up to about 70%. So now you can hear uh, on your speakers or in your headphones, it's going back and forth between the left and the right a bunch more. Um, that's all we need to do for that. We're going to use the filter. Um, we're going to use about, uh, let's come over here first and change it to the high pass 12 dB. Where is it? There it is. And about um, 1.9 right around here. And the resolution, I'm gonna, uh, uh, resonance, excuse me, resolution. <laughs> I'm going to turn it up to about 2.8. And I'll turn it down a little bit just because that gave boosted it a little bit. Sweet. And what we need to do is come into the decay time here and turn it up just a little bit. I'm going to type it in about six, seven, eight milliseconds. Uh, and 50 is good. The envelope I'm going to bring up to about 40 something percent. Sweet. Um, and I also want to turn the loop function on here as well, and I want to pull it all the way down.
So that's pretty cool, huh? Um, and the next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn on the pitch here, but I'm going to leave it at zero, and I'm going to macro uh, map this later. But the next thing I'm going to play with is the time function here. So that's kind of the bass sound that we want, and it already kind of sounds like crickets or frogs. Cool, huh? Um, so that's pretty good for now inside of Operator. The next thing we need to do is add some effects, and we're going to come into the grain delay, and we're going to use a preset called Tubby. And when you drop it in here, the dry wet is at 100%. We need to turn that down a bit. Cool. And I also want to pull up the frequency. Cool. So that's a pretty interesting sound already. Um, I can minimize that. I am also going to put on the auto pan just to add even more kind of craziness to the panning that's already going on. Uh, take that auto pan, drop it on there, um, turn it up a bunch, uh, I'm going to turn it on sync and I want it to go about uh, 1.5 every bar and a half phase, I'm going to turn it up about uh, 2, I don't know, something like this, and the shape, I'm going to turn it up to. So that's just all kinds of craziness panning going on, and I, I really like that. Um, you can adjust those, obviously, but uh, I just kind of tweaked it like that, and that's pretty good for me. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is put on a reverb, and I'm also going to use another preset for that. You know, I do this just to save kind of time. Force Floor, I've used this before. It's a really nice preset. Uh, I'm going to turn the low cut on. And already, by just doing that, uh, it sounds like uh, a bigger forest. Maybe turn it on high. You see what I'm saying? It sounds like a bigger forest. Um, maybe play with the spin a little bit. And pre-delay, I'm going to turn that up. That's cool. Um, stereo, I'm turn it down just a tad. Size is fine. Or maybe, let's turn it up. Let's turn the size up, actually. So that kind of makes the sound a little bit, uh, a little bit quieter, I guess, because the size of the area is larger. Uh, decay time, I'm going to turn it down. Cool diffusion network, I'm going to turn the low off as well, and I'm going to kind of make a a, a, a little face here, kind of lopsided face. You see that? Two eyes and a little head. <laughs> and um, the density is fine, scale is, I don't know, a little bit. Turn it down like that, maybe turn the dry wet up a little bit. Cool. And that is the sound. I'm um, pretty sure that's the sound that uh, is in the rack. You should go download the rack, by the way, if you haven't. Um, and then the last thing we need to do is highlight everything by holding down Shift and going to Group. And then just kind of map some of the parameters that are useful to change up the sound. And I don't really remember what I mapped, but I'm pretty sure uh, the volume is on 8. And I'm going to leave it at negative 12. Um, the time, I'm going to map that to like 3 or something. And I'll turn that up. Sweet. Um, and also the frequency. Rename that like tone or something. And maybe you want this uh, when the tone's really far down like this on the scale. Or really. 
really high, but I mean, really the best sounds are, you know, between like 100 hertz. Uh, maybe 100 and 300, 280. So what I would do is come into the map here and on the uh, tone I would go to 100 and then I would go up to like 280. Oops, 280, buddy. Maybe I can even come up a little bit more, maybe 140. That's cool. So I got that now. And um, also the pitch envelope was another one that can give, can give us some variation. And if we turn up the spread or something. Ah, maybe we don't have to do that. I'm going to unmap that and just bring it back down to zero. So forget I even said any of that. Um, this is cool. Sweet. Um, let's also map some of, let's map the uh, frequency here to maybe four. Sweet, let's map uh, decay time to five. Dry wet to six. Um, maybe that we can map the extra pan amount to seven. That's cool. And then we have an extra macro. And maybe if we take the time and unmap it to uh, 3 and map it to 2. And then map uh, the dry wet here to macro 3. Cool. So that's a device. That's pretty sweet if you ask me. Uh, you can download mine to check out what I did. I kind of don't remember exactly... Uh, exactly how I did it but I mean this is fairly similar it's definitely got the right idea it's got the right sound uh, it's just not going to be uh, exactly the way I did it before so go ahead and download the, the first version and I guess I'll throw up this one as the second version you know I've been doing that a lot lately but uh, so yeah that's it um, I had a lot of fun hopefully you did too hopefully you learned a couple of things and you made a dope sound and anyway we will see you next time